Hawthorne. 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 <laughs> no, Brisbane. Brisbane. And Dipper, I guarantee you won't believe in the game earlier this week like you did two <laughs> weeks ago. Hawthorne will win this one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's take a look at this week's Indigenous legend as we go to the break. Hi everyone, my name's Nova Perris. I was born in Larrakia country, up in Darwin, Northern Territory. My family expand from the Kimberleys up through to the West Arnhem Land region. Growing up in Darwin, it was free in terms of that. You get on your bike and ride to your mate's house. Lots of fishing and camping and all that sort of things that contributed to my health and well-being. Yeah, my mum, my aunties and uncles all played for the Banks Hockey Club in Darwin. So from the time that I could walk, I had a hockey stick in my hand. So hockey and athletics was just my love. I was also a bit of a tomboy. Played footy for the Nyklin Football Club as a junior right up until I think I was about 13. I dreamt big as a little kid, you know, from the time I was nine years old, I wanted to go to the Olympics. I remember writing in one of my scrapbooks, this is me playing hockey for Australia. So as a little kid, I, I dreamt big, but how did that little kid from, you know, that young Aboriginal girl from the Northern Territory, Darwin, you know, make Olympic history, being the first Aboriginal girl to win Olympic gold medal. I, I think having that wraparound support, I had family that believed in me, they invested in me. I had to make those big, bold leaps of faith and move away from my family. Gainsford Taylor in front, Ewan and Paris Kneebone come at her. Paris Kneebone, Gainsford Taylor, Paris Kneebone. Nova Paris Kneebone's won the gold. That high that I got from sports, that high that I got from scoring a goal, that captivated me and that drove me, you know, beyond 10 years of representing Australia wearing the green and gold. I guess when you're a teenager, you start to think differently, you start to get persuaded to do the things that you shouldn't be doing. So my stepfather, he had this thing of always learning the hard way. So he said, you want to be a big hero and smoke? And he stuck this large bucket on my head and gave me a couple of ciggies and I smoked and I spewed my guts up and it was just absolutely putrid. You know, I had the stench in my hair, the stain on my finger. It was certainly um, a wake up call for me because I had all this potential. You know, I wasn't doing the right things by my parents who were sending me to school to get a good education, not just to go to school to do all the wrong things. So please, don't make smokes your story. Don't make smokes your story. Broadcast partners of the Mangrook Footy Show.